Howdy my friends and welcome back to more Let's Play Grand Turismo 3. This is Sky Hurricane and in these uh next few parts I think I wanna do the like the Taurus trophy and the uh Legend of the Silver Arrow. So that's kinda of what we're gonna do next. And then we may go and do some of the uh drive train challenges. Or I don't know, we might do some other stuff. There's just so much to do, y'all. So much to do. So let's do the Mercedes thing first, I guess. Then we'll do the Audi TT. Dilly. And so this really hasn't been tuned, I don't think. But. We're going to add a little power for sure. We may already have tires. Yeah, I got tires. Which, as we know, those tires really don't make much of a difference. So yeah, get these weight reductions. Pretty cheap. So we're mainly gonna go for some uh some handling. So yeah, it definitely get suspension. And maybe a little power. Whoa, 371. That's a lot. Four ninety seven. This is pretty cheap. I don't know what kind of tracks we're going to end up doing, so I probably want to get transmission. Just in case. Alright. Now that we spent a lot of money, let's go ahead and do this thing. Yeah, so we got a Ger German touring car championship, but. I'd be afraid to put this in that. So. Should be able to do the Legend of the Silvero though. Hopefully. Yeah, 20,000 for these. Wow. 20,000. So yeah, we will get our money back pretty much. Alright. Just these three races though. I didn't really need that transmission, I don't think. But oh well. Yeah, this thing really does handle pretty good. At least from what I remember. Hmm, let's see. I'm going to lower the ride height. Let's just do 95. And since the front is so much stronger, I probably should keep it. It's three stronger. So maybe 12.9 and 9.9. .9. How about 10.5? Let's. Well, I don't know. I kind of like the way that it handled before. So because they had pretty good stability. All right, let's do this. Oh, only three laps too. Oh, these are gonna be pretty short. For some reason, I was thinking this was a championship. You know, I might go ahead and do this and the evolution mating in one video. Because I think these are going to be relatively short. I think. I may be wrong. I definitely think they got me beat on the power. Hopefully, I can beat them on the corners. These little boogers must be tuned up pretty good. The little SLK, which completely lost the beginner challenge, is actually uh, leading this race. Yeah, he must be tuned up pretty good. Yeah, even drafting him, I can barely catch him. But we, we, we had one hit. We got this. Yeah, I probably will uh, keep them separate. Yeah. Because these are three lap races, so they are longer. 
It's okay, actually, might be the best. It might handle better, probably. Even though this thing's pretty big and bulky, though, it handles pretty good. See, I think next we'll do a... Ouch. We'll do either the Evolution thing or we'll do the Audi TT race. Eventually, I just choose something. Well, they're keeping up. They're actually gaining on me right there. Wow. Yeah, they definitely are tuned pretty good. The CLK is passing the SL. steer all of them are pretty close though even the big bulky uh, CL 600 pretty close it's pretty bad we only got three laps better than the MR2 And that was the MR2 with no tuning at all, you know. MR2 GTS, pretty good car. Oh yay, let's screw that up. And now they're really gonna catch us right here. Let's make this last lap a little more interesting, shall we? Uh, probably a little too interesting. Oh gosh. Don't want you passing right there. <laughs> oh gosh. Sneeze messed me up. Seriously, man. Sneezing messed me up there. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Well, these ain't gonna be easy. I might need to go add a little more oomph. Golly. Crazy, crazy craziness. Yep, the CL600 got last, but it was keeping up. Ooh, that was intense, man. That was very intense. Yep, CL600. There's only CL, one CL600. Probably almost sounds like I'm saying seal, not CL seal. <laughs> Beautiful car. You know, all blue and white and silver and black and no no warm colors except for the yellow one. I should add more power or not. Eh, let's try this. Don't know if it's a good idea. Okay, wow, well, we got three CL600s. 
CL 600s. I have a feeling they should be relatively easy to beat. They should be able to handle as good, as big and bulky as they are. They definitely are allowed to accelerate me. Six laps. At least we do have six laps to, to make this work. So. I don't think this is going to be total domination though, or anything like that. I'll use you for my own little cornering devices. Were there even any soup? CLK 55s in this. Oh, yeah, that's a CLK 55. Okay. And I'm going to pass you on the outside somehow. But never mind, you're going to accelerate me so vehemently. The light breaking. For the win. Matter of fact, I don't know if we are going to. Nah, we should have this. Golly, they definitely have a power advantage, though. Okay, so we're pretty much right where we were this time last lap, I see. Y'all won't even let me take my right driving line. not have been so bad to actually increase the rear springs just at least for this track. Oh, you gotta love the computer's driving line. That's the only thing that kills them on this track. They just don't know how to do it. It's so simple. So simple. Seems like one car I did on this track, I got 38 seconds. Was it the Camaro or the Audi TT? Kind of taking it easy there. Because they're really not so threatening. <laughs> I love how the CL600s are all so far behind. Next race probably a bit more interesting than this. First race is pretty interesting. Of course, it depends on what you call interesting, I guess. But that was definitely on the easy side. With our five second lead. And I guess we're white on y'all 6L, 600, uh, CL 600s, which all finished pretty much at the same time. So yay, that was exciting. All right. <coughs> Rome circuits. Oh my golly, Rome reverse. Hmm. 
I might want to add a little more power for this. Yeah, let's add just a little more. Because I don't like being so underpowered. Especially on this track that I don't like. Yeah, this is only 5,800. Let's get it. Wow, 548 horsepower, and that's even without the engine displacement. Of course, we're not going to get that because that would just be overkill. Where are you? There you are. Alright, we should be able to handle this. 130 days. So, okay. I like how at least they're picking one of each car, you know, at least one. At least they're including all the different cars. I'm going to turn the ISM off, though. I might regret that. Been so long since we've had this track forward. I have to give it to this reverse for whatever reason. CL600 chose that pretty blue color. Okay, somehow I'm gonna pass pass you on the outside. Really, that probably was considering what's going on. That's probably the best choice, except when I do that. Yeah, y'all aren't really getting away. They're still faster. Kind of take it easy right now. So we still have two whole laps left. They're not really getting away from us. They're just hard to pass. Except for, well, man, that corner worked that well for me. Except, oh golly, car. <laughs> yeah, that should be our only problem area, I would think. We might pass all of y'all here if a CLK55 wouldn't be such a beat. I would have. Golly, y'all are just screwing me. See, I wouldn't hit that wall if it weren't for you. It's all your fault. I'm gonna blame my suckiness on you. Okay. Now let's just ride the curve. Yay, just drift around that corner. Almost the second lead. Well, this turned out to be easier than I expected. Of course, uh, if I didn't have this extra power, you know, probably didn't have to have the extra power. So maybe we did win trial mountain. I was kind of considering the fact that I'm not that good at this track package. We're pulling away. Oh yeah. Yeah, I find light braking to be more helpful there because you can get a good exit speed like right, like that. And I should really pull, pull away from them from that. Look at that. Just from that corner alone there.
way up six seconds. That was not expected. Yeah, he's gonna hit that wall. Yeah, I think we could have won this regardless, but... You know, it didn't hurt. I say L600 is so much more expensive, but it is not as good. You know, it's just more of a luxury cruiser, I guess. This kind of shows you you don't always get what you pay for. At least, well, I'm sure you get what you pay for if you bought that. As far as race, racing purposes, this is definitely the better choice than the expensive CL600. That's why it costs like 30,000 more credits than this. And then like 80,000 more than the SLK, I think. Why, 9.6 seconds. Come on, CL600. Wow, you suck. But yeah, we got a lot. We got a lot of our money back. So that's good. So what did we win? Ooh, ooh, ooh! There is a German Touring Car Championship. That would be that would be great for that. That would be great. Heck yeah. Alrighty. Well, that was good. Let's check out the stats on that thing. Yep, CLK Touring Car. You can tell it's kind of based off the CLK 55. Wow, it really is. Well, I guess I could sort these. The CLK 55 and the CLK Touring Car. Yeah, you can tell. Wow, only a thousand kilograms. Wow, it's really, really lost a lot of weight. A V8. Two point two five seven. Ratio, uh, power weight ratio. This has a V8 also, 3.39. It's still rather heavy though at 1397, even with the weight reduction stage one and two. How much did it originally weigh? I want to say over 1500. Let's see here. Yeah, 1570, wow. And this big mama. Wow, 1955. Whew. You don't even get that much horsepower with it. It does have that big V12, though. Hmm. All right, well, that was pretty cool, y'all. Well, I don't want to thank all y'all very much for watching. This has been Sky Hurricane. Hope you have a super awesome blessed day. And as always, stay awesome, my friends. Goodbye.